Hello everyone, welcome to External Star Channel, my name is Marek, as you already know. And today I have two new releases from Automobile. One of them is this beautiful Audi S3. And then we have another, quite a small one, uh, model here in 1 to 18 scale, it's Renault Clio RS. Yeah, so today let's compare them side by side, let's enjoy the review and let's enjoy two new models. Alright, let's start now! Okay, so now a question, should we start with this S3 or RS? Yeah, so maybe let's first take the yellow one, yeah, and um, it's not really a new, new, new car, uh, it's this S3 1 to 18 scale from Automobile. You can see the undercarriage here, yeah, quite simple, uh, but yeah, at least you can see the exhaust, the pipe leading up until here, and then we have two exhausts actually here. Yeah, so maybe let me use my favorite tool to show you all the details. Yeah, let's start in the beginning, this examination. So here, very small and tiny logo, this S3 or S line. And then we have again four circles, the Audi logo. And then we have this front grille, which is unfortunately not perforated, yeah, unfortunately not. And also here the air intake and the second lower grille, not perforated. Yeah? So it's just a plastic part. It could be a bit better, but at least here you see the additional lights, probably the fog lights. And then we have quite nice set of headlights. Yeah? So with some orange uh, turning indicators inside. Okay, so uh, definitely it could be a bit better. And yeah, I must say it's quite heavy, yeah? but look at it from the side. So wheels, they spin also in the back. Then you have here the door handle with a nice silver key knob. And then you have this black part here, yeah, also not that bad. And then we have uh, the side mirrors in a different color with nice uh, reflective or mirror here, really, uh, it's a foil, but still quite nice. And then we have antenna. The good thing is that you can't really break it, yeah? So look at that. You can bend it a little bit. Not too much, yeah? I don't want to really break it, but if you bend it just a little, it still stays. In the back, this S3 license plate, nothing else. And here are the four circles, silver. Here it was more black. In the front, it's silver in the back. Yeah, what a discrepancy, Jesus Christ. And then <laughs> we have nice uh, red tail lights with a small white area in the middle, really replicating the real lights of the real car. Yeah, but again, then here the bumper with this black uh, part, it's plastic. Yeah, so the yellow color is not so. I would say not so special. Yeah? Uh, there are no uh, flakes in it. It's not really something special. It's shiny, okay, but I see it as a simple color, more suitable for taxi cars. Uh, okay, so if you're a taxi driver, maybe you would enjoy it, but for a bit sportier car, it's nothing special. Look inside, at least it matches with uh, the seeds, which are also a little bit yellow, yeah, with some yellow parts. And yeah, there is a steering wheel, nice seats. So the interior is also decorated quite well. This is a four seater, maybe, maybe five would fit in, but probably more for four. Okay, so that's, that's this one. And now the Renault Clio. Let's start in the, be in the beginning. In the front, yeah, it's so reflective. Look at this, this black color, and you already can maybe see the flakes inside. Yeah, so it's a metallic color. Look at that, it looks like a space with all the stars. You know, much better, at least in my opinion, if you look from a close distance, better color than the uh, Audi S3. So here it says Clio RS, what about here, yeah, so again, Clio RS 18 in 1 to 18 scale from Automobile. 
Again, flat undercarriage. We have this exhaust leading somewhere here and then oh, probably here and there, yeah? All right, so let's check it out. Uh, in the front, we have this big Renault logo, which is black, almost invisible. Yeah, so it quite matches uh, the color of the car. And also very small RS here. Yeah, so now you can see that. And again, all the grills are not perforated, not photo etched. Like here, this whole air intake is not very detailed. And again, we have some fog lights. And then inside of this uh, headlight, we have this white part. Yeah, so at least it's somehow detailed. And then the wheels, they look quite nice because I like this red brake caliper. Look at that inside, this red one and uh, the logo here, again, yellow. And here we have RS18 with two triangles. This is probably a sticker. I don't want to touch it with this tool because I would scratch it and I don't want to do that. And then the door handle here, it's probably a glued, glued one. It's glued in. Yeah, it's probably a separate part. What about the glass? Yeah, so when I touch it like this, it's again, very thin. We have some additional colors also here, this yellow one. Eh? And when I touch it with my fingerprints, it's already it leaves the fingerprints on the paint, yeah? So you need to be careful with black. That's the disadvantage of black, yeah? Because you always need to polish it, like look at that. I will touch it here and then you see it? A fingerprint, ugly one. It would never happen on the yellow color, never. But here, okay, you need to do either this. It's not perfect, yeah? It's better to do it with a towel. So a little bit of wax and then a small towel and you polish it and it will disappear. But again, I'm always touching the models like this, like from the bottom and it's okay. Also, you can touch the rubber. It never leaves any fingerprints. But look at this. Also here, you already see that. Yeah, so fingerprints everywhere. Jesus Christ, this is so sensitive. Yeah, so now I'm reviewing it and then I will be cleaning it another 30 minutes. Anyway, the wheels are also okay here. It's a four door or actually five door car instead of this one. Yeah, this one was only three doors. But again, again, this one is a French one. So Renault from France and we had a German Audi before. So maybe you can tell me in the comments, which one would you prefer, uh, the French one or the German one? And also this one is much newer. Yeah? And in the, in the back, in the rear, we have again, nice tail lights, additional third braking light, Renault uh, license plate and two exhausts and Actually, can I stick something inside? Yeah, it's not that deep. Look at that. Yeah, so not very, not very deep. Okay, and the logo again, black on this RS version. I would prefer maybe a silver one. Yeah, but since this is a, a sportier version of this Renault, what about the seats? Again, multiple colors. So it's not just a simple black. We have the red stripes and this nice steering wheel. Okay, so let's put them again here on the table. Yeah, side by side. All right, so let's drink a little bit of coffee before I make my final judgment. Mmm, really a great coffee. Okay, so today I had a chance to review those two models from Automobile. Thank you, for Automobile, for providing those two models so that I can review them. Really, my pleasure. Um, and I must say, they both look great, especially if you are collecting smaller cars. Yeah. So usually I'm buying luxury cars, but sometimes it's good to see also some cheaper sports cars. And maybe these cars are more like for, I don't want to say teenagers, but for very young drivers who want to experience some fast driving across the German Autobahn, yeah, or the German highway, probably also in France, around uh, Paris, if you are driving this RS, 
or in Frankfurt if you are driving this Audi S3. Okay, so my personal preference, I actually, it's very hard to say for me. I don't have any, yeah? so both models are uh, executed very well, quite detailed, and the price is very uh, generous, I would say, or very uh, pleasant because they are like 90 euro each which is in the lower price range and um, yeah unfortunately you can't open anything you can't open that yeah but if you are looking for something what you can open you definitely pay more than 100 150 and more yeah so for some luxury models in my collections i even paid like 300 or 400 for some nice royce royce diecast models so this one for that price definitely recommend it thank you for watching guys and see you next time with more models to come not only from gt spirit automobile but maybe also something else let's see okay so bye